Well, they do a great job of moving the ball, like, uh, but you know that going into the game, I didn't think, uh, off, you know, it's funny, it's rare when you look at the box score and you have 113 points offensively and you thought, well, we didn't play great offense. Tonight, we didn't play great offense. I thought it was night and day watching the difference in the movement tonight. I thought we had a lot of guys, we tried to win the game on our own, um, that happens, you know, uh, but we didn't trust the pass tonight. And then defensively, I thought our offense deflated us in some ways, and I thought defensively they just had a field day. They moved the ball wherever they want. You know, they, they've been a high turnover team, and the only stretch they had any turnovers was the beginning of the third quarter, uh, and we got back in the league, we got back in the game, uh, kind of. Uh, other than that, uh, tonight wasn't the game. You guys have been playing really good defense. Yeah. All season long. Mm -hmm. What happened to it tonight? It went away tonight, but you know, that I can live with that. You know, it, it happens. Um, and it happens against a great team. I, I really thought, listen, they got to every loose ball in the first half. They got to every offensive rebounds. Every time they got to one, they made a three because they, they're so unselfish. When you play a team like that, you can't lose that 50-50 game, and especially to the point that we lost it tonight. Josh, what did they do to take Blake Blake out of the game? He looked pretty passive tonight. Well, I thought he was aggressive. I just thought the attack, and they, they doubled, you know. And, you know, I thought our spacing was poor. I didn't think we helped Blake a lot with our spacing, so – uh, we'll look at that, and but you know, again, one of the ways to play them is you have to attack them. You have to go right back at them. I thought it got to a point in the second quarter. Every time they scored, we would inbound and walk the ball up the floor and allow their defense to set. And that's not how you play Golden State. What kind of focus does it take, given how explosive they can be on offense and the minutes at four point eight and it's fourteen? What kind of focus is you it take from great, great you focus? Them? You yeah. do. You have to have it for 48 minutes because they can make a run at any point in the game. That, they're just good. Uh, but I don't think they get enough credit they, defensively. You know, I still don't. It's amazing. Whenever you talk about Golden State, all of us, if we only talk about their offense, and I think it's their defense that sets them apart. I think they're the best health defensive team. I think they switch a lot because they have multiple positional players, and they – if you don't trust your offense and move the ball, you become stagnant, and then that's when their offense takes off because you get frustrated on your end. I think it's their defense as much as their offense. Is there ever a point in a game where you're maybe sensing that one of their kind of trademark runs is coming, or do you go ahead and do a game thinking well, that them, at some point will you come? Well, with them, you got to be able to take that, though. You know, uh, you really do. you got to accept that they're going to have a run, and you're going to have a run back at them. Uh, but what you can't do is when they have a run, stop playing. You have to keep playing. I thought we stopped, not stop playing, but we, we start playing, uh, walking the ball up the floor. And that's not how you beat them. They're too good defensively to let them set it up. Scott, now that this is over, is this one of 82 and it's still not even November yet? Yeah, yeah obviously. It comes out uh, two or three, you know what I mean? Yeah, Halloween's tomorrow. Right. You know, so we got a lot of time to get better, and we will. Um, I really like this team. Um, we got a lot of work to do. I've been saying it offensively more than defensively. Uh, defensively, we were not great tonight. But overall, I like how we could play. Uh, we just got to do it consistently. Uh, what did you think? Usually, uh, teams get pretty excited about playing the Warriors. Aside from them being very, very good, do you mm -hmm. think your team was, was not really inspired to do nothing? No, they just outplayed us. I don't, I don't, I rarely buy into any of that uh, guys come out and not inspired stuff. Sometimes the other team just beats your butt. And you just got to take it, and that's what happened tonight. Josh, what did you think of the MVP chance for Steph and the Warriors chance, you know, to do it on your home floor? Yeah. What the, well, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I don't know what you want me to do. I have the power one day. I'll throw everyone out who does it. You know, but right now I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them buy tickets. I <laughs> know. That would be nice. That would be nice. Listen. Uh, when you're the champions, people follow. It's it's, it's called uh, whatever you want to call it. You know, I've, I've been in places that the same thing has happened, and it's part of sports. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks.